I think leadership to me is somebody that has a vision and they really make plans to act on that vision. I really want to be the CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Ashley sees herself as a future Fortune 500 leader. And in the words of Terry Broderick, a former CEO himself, don't bet against Ashley. I learned about Queens through a college and career fair at my high school. When we came to Queens, we knew almost instantly it was the place for her. I just really just loved it. I believe Queens has been a very good fit for Ashley. She's always involved. She's either involved on campus, she's involved in the classroom, she's an RA in the dorm. I was like, what else are you doing? Then she starts to tell me about volunteer work that she does in the community. And I was like, there's not that much time in one day. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say what free time. So I'm picking up a card from Michelle, I'm going to get pizza and stuff like that. Well, honestly, she has always been driven. It's kind of like being in charge. It starts from the inside, really. It's just like that internal drive, something that, you know, most people wish they had, and she has that. I think that the experiences that my mom and my grandma have gone through have not only shaped me, but my family, because they want us to learn from them. Their feedback, it's, it's interesting. I think I'd like to just use the word tough love. So my grandma, um, she has a certain honesty about her, and she's just very direct and upfront about things. Leadership style that I think that I've inherited from both my mom and my grandma is leading by example. And I feel like that's extremely important as a leader because you're not leading people down this path that you wouldn't go down yourself. I mean, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. When I run into Ashley, she's generally in a group of people. She's just very engaged and you can tell the students she's around respect her and, and enjoy being around her. Oh gosh, now you're gonna make me, uh, I'm getting ready to get emotional. Um, Self-confidence. In the past, Ashley has dealt with anxiety. I was a single parent, um, and I think because of environments that we were in, some people sort of made her feel less than because of her situation. And I just, all of us as a family, encouraged her to not let other people define who you are. To see her where she's overcome all of that, it means a lot. The growth that I've experienced here has just really been fast-tracked. I don't think that that would have happened nearly at as fast of a rate if I had gone somewhere else. This is an environment in which Ashley can really thrive. I'm really excited about what the future holds for her, but also excited about what she's doing here on campus at this point, because I think she's personally fulfilled, but I think she also is making a difference for other people as best she can. So one of the reasons why I want to be the CEO of a Fortune 500 company is because that representation and role models is not there for me. And I feel like when I don't see people who look like me in these positions, it begins to seem like it's not achievable for someone like me. And I want to make sure that when I become that person, I'm not the only person. I want there to be more people that are like me. I want to leave behind a legacy of advocacy. I want to be that person who not only speaks for those who can't speak, but gives a voice to those who don't have one. Look out, here she comes.